Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to Theme Park Tempo. Back at it again today here at the Alpine Coaster in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. What is set to be my fourth mountain coaster altogether. I'm actually really, absolutely falling in love with these mountain coasters. The terrain, minimal air time, but it's such a, there's such nice rides through the mountains. And I'm looking forward to seeing this one, given it a whirl. Apparently, from what I talked to with locals, this is one of the better ones in the area. So let's give it a try. So always, guys, if you're first time on the channel, do me a favor, like and subscribe down below. Welcome to Theme Park Tempo. Welcome to the Alpine Coaster. on my mind Ride the big coasters Leave the world behind Theme Park Tempo Love it every ride Theme Park Tempo Feel the thrill inside Theme Park Tempo Stream it every night Theme Park Tempo Stop me, ride the light Must be 56 inches to ride, no less than 38 inches. Total combined weight of anybody, not even in one person, you can't be above 375. But it's what weather? 330 is the limit. Thankfully, I'm good. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do dang dang. I actually like this boarding area. You know the safety issues by now. If you're a theme park goer, keep your hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the ride vehicle while the ride is in motion and remain seated throughout your voyage. <laughs> Seems to be one, two, three, four, no five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cell phones on the map here. Now they just said if we bump into another sled, we're responsible we for it. I don't know. That seems like a dispatch problem to me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's when you would sign a waiver. That's it. I didn't. I did not sign a waiver here. Maybe that's what I signed the waiver for. I didn't read the waiver. Maybe I should have. Alrighty, guys, we are all set up in our car here. Interesting chain clip. The chains obviously pull you from the blocks there, but the chains are sideways. That's interesting. <laughs> Old school style. Just waiting for a dispatch in a second. Here we go, guys. I think I'm really fond of these Alpine coasters as of late. Reaching about 80 feet at the top of this little lift hill. It's still building the reminiscence of some old building back there. Oh, interesting. This is the motor that powers the cable lift for this part of the ride, at least. We're on a slight incline here. It's probably this is really tucked away in the mountains. This one. Cool, we saw a bear cross over a creek here. One of the bear could chase up to speeds that a coaster could. <laughs> Interesting. There we go. He's just have really long lift hills. Every single one of them I've been on. <laughs> Nifty though. I like the stairs. You can service up here. Little cabin. Out in the woods down there that way. And a three part lift hill, maybe four. It looks to be longer than that. Yeah, oh god. Yep. Well, this is beautiful though. Oh, I love to smell the forest. Unfortunately, we can't project smells through YouTube. Oh, this has lights right on the track. I mean, it's daytime, but you can, you can be able to make them out, but you, kind of. Wonder what these fences around the foliage is for. Maybe people messing with. Oh wow, we got a lot, a lot, a lot of lift left. Holy heck! About two minutes and 14 seconds into the climb. Whew! This is gorgeous, though. The way the sun just breaks through some of the trees. Oh, it's lovely. This would be a perfect bear habitat, though. That's for sure. <laughs> That is for sure. Beautiful. Smoky Mountains versus the Ozarks. I don't know which one I like better. It's so hard to pick. I just wish I had one or two more days here. Unfortunately, I was going to venture off to Gatlinburg, Gatlinburg, and I just don't think I'm going to have the time. I want to see all of Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg takes at least, I would say, two, three days maybe to see every, well, not everything. You'd be there for a month, but it is what it is. 
I will be venturing off later today to do a Jurassic Jungle boat ride, which is a dark ride they have, about 10 minutes in length. It's cheesy and it's old school, but I love those kind of rides, so, you know, very much looking forward to it. These high pond coasters are not cheap. This ride was about $19. The goat coaster was $17. Yeah, it's... I mean, I get it, because times have gone up. Maintenance, etc., etc. You can buy a frequent rider pass. I don't know if they have a season pass. Some of them own some of them, but maybe some of them have an option. And I saw the ones in Branson. They had like a month pass, which... How many times can you go on a coaster? <laughs> so this lift hill is definitely longer than the goats one for sure. By a lot actually. <laughs> Here we're at four minutes now, which is about there. Seems up there is gonna be this is the final part of the lift though. This might be the this will if because we're only at four, but by the time we get up there it'll be closer to six. So this will be the longest lift haul on a mountain coaster I've experienced thus far. This valley looks steep. A great coaster drop right down that. Where's the wish version parks? Let me film on the rides. It is what it is, though. So good to bring you some cool mountain coasters. Now I get to a certain level of subscribers. Guys, tell your friends out there. If you get two friends to subscribe, I'm close to 500. I'll hit 1,000. Once I hit 1,000, I guess start getting paid for this. And then I can do... You know, other cool things. <laughs> oh. Alright guys. We're freezing up to the top here. Let's do it! Push your handles forward now and enjoy your ride. Whoa! Your Whoa! These things and not go to full speed. I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. I don't care though. It's down the whole line. Boo. <laughs> slow my speed so I could get a little. There we go. Enjoy this final part here. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Stop. Okay? I'm listening to you. Whoa! Right, I'm gonna slow my roll so I can enjoy this final helix, helix, helix! Helix, helix! Slow helix. Man. Really slow helix. <laughs> Not pressed. <laughs> Climb was nice. Seems like the final stretch of it though. <gasps> yeah.
and the track. Please keep your hands and There we go, guys, the Alpine Coaster. It was a nice ride, but of all the mountain coasters I've done so far, it was the least forceful in my opinion. Definitely the least speed. The one Helix was nice, the one turn around, the one little hit. Other than that, it slow you down a lot during the course of the ride. Still, it was a nice ride. I recommend doing it. Just was my least favorite, unfortunately. And here we go. I'm sitting into the Alpine Coaster shop for my hot oh, Miriam. <laughs> my, this actually makes my 316th coaster. Can I get a hell yeah? And that's going to be wrapped today, guys, here from the Alpine Mountain Coaster. It was a blast bringing you guys along with this POV. And unfortunately, it was my least favorite of the coasters, but it was still a fun experience nonetheless. As always, guys, if it's the first time to the channel, do me a favor, like, and subscribe down below. Until then, we'll catch you guys next time. Theme Park Temple, loving every ride. Theme Park Temple, feel the thrill inside. Theme Park Temple, streaming every night. Theme Park Temple, stop the ride, the light.